big thing. Um, as you, I've also got a three-star tight end visiting this week, trying to get some late uh, pushes on some guys. Uh, you know, just filler positions and, and trying to build a little bit of depth on my recruiting class. So we're playing at home this week. West Virginia's three and seven. I am ten and zero, trying to stay alive in the national championship hunt and not slip up. Also trying to keep up the good season that Lance Hodge has had and um, put keep pushing towards that Big Twelve championship game. King's going to return this, buddy. Oh, my goodness. He muffed it. <laughs> Hodge has been on a roll lately. Last game, he took a slight step back, but still got over 100 yards rushing again this season. Uh, for the, uh, like the, I believe that's his 10th game. 10 out of 10 games, over 100 yards rushing. And King's also had a really good season so far. Man, Hodge just pushing through tackles and gets 10 yards on his first carry. Going right back to him. Blitz came up on the right side, and he ran right into it, and it's going to be a negative one-yard run. Holly broke one tackle and only picked up one yard that time. Adams catches that one and it's going to be fourth down and four. Pretty confident in my defense, so we're going to go for it. Cunningham breaks one tackle and picks up eight yards and a first down. Wouldn't let me pitch it to him. Hmm. Well, West Virginia's defense definitely seems up to the task this is they've just been suffocating the crap out of my quarterback and my, I mean, they've been getting to him all game and coming up on the run game. Fourth down and one. Again, fourth down. Cunningham's going to get this, and he's going to just truck a guy at the line and pick up three yards for the first down. Man.
Picks up about five yards on that run. Normally have done pretty good on third down. Not such a good start on third down this game. <laughs> and they stopped me again on third down. Another converted fourth down. Wow. Apparently my offensive line is just MIA this week. Cunningham picks up 11 yards, and it's going to be third down and seven. And finally get a third down conversion. Gavin Andrews picks up 14 yards. We're just trying to bully our way downfield right now. 16 plays on this drive. I don't even know what that was. That defensive player just threw my guy onto the ground. King's going to cut in and score. 19 yard touchdown. Nebraska is going to be up 6 to nothing after a long, long drive and three fourth down conversions. Determined to get started off on the right foot. And it went and it worked. And we forced a turnover on defense. Oh my gosh, if my offensive line would just throw one block, just throw one block. My guy's been sacked probably about four times already. This is so frustrating. I'm just determined to just like, I gotta take the wind out of their sails somehow because they're just like getting huge plays on defense left and right and there's just absolutely nothing I can do about it right now 11 yard game by Lance Hodge that time he's up to 34 yards on 8 carries he's having a slow start to this game Cunningham's going to be in to get this carry 
He lowers his shoulder and picks up six yards. King's going to pick up three. Adams makes the catch. 13 yard reception. It's going to be first and goal. Huge block on the outside. Pancake the man. And a two yard touchdown run for Lance Hodge. Defense just stones West Virginia on a three and out. All right, we working? Okay. Well, a bit of technical difficulties there. Jackson's going to make that catch, and it's going to be 17-yard reception. Quietly, Holly is having a really good game right now. First down for Andre King. Things are finally starting to loosen up on defense or on offense a little bit. I thought. <laughs> They're just throwing crazy blitzes at me and I just haven't been able to do anything. Intercept it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <sighs> Good grief. I didn't see the safety over the top. Gonna play a little defense now.
sacked for a loss of four. Trying to bring some pressure here. And Townsend knocks it down, and it's going to be fourth down and 14. Defense holds again. Oh, man, King's got a lane. King's going to score on a punt return, and it's going to be 20 to nothing on, after the 73-yard punt return by Andre King. A minute 33 left in the first half, and Nebraska needed that kind of a boost. They needed some big play. Oh, wow. And we just got to pick, or no, actually, they fumbled it, and then we score. <laughs> so, good things happening right now for Nebraska. Minute and three seconds left. And and Fontaine puts a big hit on David Williams that time. And he only picks up two yards. The defensive backfield, the coverage has just been amazing this game so far. I think West Virginia is just trying to get to the half at this point. Two momentum shifting plays, one after another. Almost picked off by Fontaine again. That would have been a huge play. Ooh, Townsend should have picked that one off. It's going to be fourth and eight again. And they're going to be punting away to the guy who just returned a punt for a touchdown against him, Andre King. And they're going to kick to him again. Oh, I don't know how he's staying on his feet. But <laughs> We're going to take a shot to end the half here. Oh, no way. That was bull crap. He wasn't even looking at him, and he was already running that way. That was such a crap thing. That was such a crap play. Oh, well. Got a blitz going on in here. Try and mix things up a little bit. Oh, 
Ooh. And Townsend just took that guy's head off. by their quarterback. Ooh, stoned him in the backfield for a loss of three. It's going to be fourth and eight. Down by four touchdowns, and West Virginia's going to kick the field goal and make it a 28-3 game. This has been a pretty ugly game considering how how close it actually, or not very close, but just how the game's been played. I mean, we're up 28-3, but it's just been really bad. Bad offensively. Andrews makes the catch, 17 yards. I've not been getting as many blocks as what uh, I have been in weeks before with Lance Hodge. He's just not been getting any help along that offensive line or from his wide receivers to get anything going. However, when King's running the ball, King's been having gaps all day, holes all day, and that's why he's got a, a lot more yards and a much better average per uh, carry. King's going to bust his way in the end zone. It's going to be 35-3. to three. Nebraska over West Virginia. Like 2.35 left in the third quarter. And it's going to be a three and out. Oh, no, excuse me. They got a first down on a penalty. And they're going to score a touchdown. And I'm going to get the ball back 35 to 10 with 101 left in the third quarter. I'm going to kick the Williams again, who had a huge return a moment ago. And he's going to have another big return here. Cunningham's going to be in for this one. Oh my lord. Six yard gain or seven yard gain, and it's going to be over 100 yards as a team now for Nebraska. They've gone two to six on third down. And eight more yards that time. And he's going to hit Adams for a touchdown. Deep downfield and on the run. And Corey Holly has got his groove back. And it's going to be 41 to 10. 42 to 10 going into the fourth quarter. And they fumble on the kick again. And a 
Nebraska scores. It's 49 to 10 at this point. Second team defense is in and allows for a trash can touchdown. And it's 49 to 17. We're going to make some changes here. Oh, man. West Virginia has held us way below our season average of 544 yards per game of offense. Deep shot to Jacob Johnson, one on one, and it's going to be a touchdown. It's 55 to 17. And three and out for West Virginia. And that should be the uh, nail in the coffin there. Now this has not felt like a game that was 56 to 17 like it normally is. They have played really, really good defense and just held me down and not let me do anything. Dangerous throw across the field and. Nothing going there. And there goes Hodge. And Hodge is going to break a long one. Hodge is going to get inside the 10-5 touchdown. 63-yard touchdown run for Lance Hodge. And that little... Stutter move there, got him, and it's going to be 62 to 17. And just finishing strong, lowering his shoulder and getting over the goal line. And it's going to be 63 17. Time to get the backup some work. <sighs> oh, McNeil had a shot at it. Jackson's going to get 23 yards on that reception. And just doing work. King picks up 13 yards. He's approaching the 100 yard mark. He picks up five yards on that carry.
11 yard carry for Andre King. He's just four yards away from 100 on the day. And he's going to get seven. And it's going to be 70 to 17, Nebraska. Piling it on late. That's going to be all she wrote for this week, guys. Nebraska wins 70-17 to 17 over West Virginia. We improved to 9, I mean 11-0. We place ourselves firmly in first place in the Big 12. We are now one win away from the conference championship game. We are two game, two wins away from the national championship game, and uh, a lot of good things happening right now. So, until next time.